cycles of breath to say to yourself, I am here, as you place one hand on your heart, one on your belly, in self-acknowledgement, what often feels like radical act of self-care. You can send gratitude to anyone or anything that supports you being here today. Yeah, good. Couple of glorious moments to land in your body, to settle into yourself. If you like to invite in an intention for your practice today, each in breath, an invitation to be invigorated. Balance it out with the exhale to be nourished. You can invite this practice along with your breath to be an invigorating and nourishing practice. Relaxing the muscles of your face, softening your eyeballs as we explore. Any chosen challenges today, best you can, maintaining a soft face throughout the practice. Let's release the arms by the sides, palms facing up. Bring your feet closer together and straighten your legs. Let's rock it out. Point and flex your feet. Upper body begins to rock, so we're ridding ourselves of rigidity. In the anticipation of what's to come, we're inviting in a sense of curiosity. Don't let too much seriousness keep you from enjoying the moment. The exploration, circle your ankles around 10 times each direction. Our feet are our foundation for most of the day, so let's make sure they are adaptable. Keep your arms by your sides again, bending your knees, feet as wide as the mat, knees resting towards each other, a couple of windshield wipers with the knees side to side, warming up our hips, relaxing your face. Knees find center, feet together, knees together. Lift your arms up in line with your sh shoulders. Hug your right knee in without using your hands, and then your left knee, lower your knees to the right. You can extend your top leg to the right as well. Bend the top knee and size the waist, ribs to the ground to bring your knees back to center. Keep it on the right side. Lower the knees to the right, extend the leg. You can turn your head the opposite direction, bending the top knee and bring it to center. Three more times, own breath. We're easing our way into our spines and our outer hips and our hamstrings as you wring out any unnecessary tension from your spine, from your mind. Let's meet with the knees to the right and keep both knees bent, gazing, looking at your left fingertips. Curl the left fingertips in, bend the left elbow, and open left palm, slide it across your chest, and reach past your right fingertips. Your head might lift up, that's good. And then big body sweeping with the arm, big floppy circle. Four more times like that, rhythm of your own breath. Eyeballs follow the direction of your left fingertips. Big floppy sweeping circle. This could be a gesture of Taking up space, taking up space, noticing if that's something that's familiar to you or if it's something that you long for more of, not only on your mat, but also off your mat. Taking up space. After your last round, three full nourishing breaths in this shape. Again, you can have your eyeballs towards your left fingertips, breathing fully into your three-dimensionality, the physical perimeters of your being. That includes sides of the waist, sides of the ribs, back of the waist, back of the ribs. On your next exhale, bring the knees to center. Let's switch sides. Knees lower to the left, 
Extend your right leg. Bending the right knee, heel towards bottom, sides of the waist ribs down to bring the knees to center. Let's do that four more times. Rhythm of your own breath, best you can. Having your shoulder blades heavy on the ground. And we'll meet with the knees, right leg, then bend the right knee. Knees and ankles stacked on top of each other. Look at your right fingertips, curl the fingertips in. Slide your hand across your chest, reach past your left fingertip, and then a big body circle around. Four more times, rhythm of your own breath. Big fluffy circle, sweeping. You could flop when your right hand reaches the right side. Taking up lots of space. And we'll meet with the right arm to the right. Three full, not forceful, cycles of breath. Right? Our breath is our internal compass. Right? We get a, an idea of our limits. So making sure you're approaching a shape or any situation on the mat, off the mat, where you have enough space for yourself and to breathe. I could start with this practice, allowing this practice to be as chill or challenging as you like. On your next exhale, bring your knees to center, lower your right foot down and your left foot down. Arms by your sides, palms down, lowing bridges, press to the outline of your feet, lift from your sitting bones or reach your arms overhead, and exhale, lower your arms and lower your hips. Let's do that two more times and then we'll add on. Making sure you're lifting from your sitting bones by pressing down through your heels, not your ribs. Belly and ribs stay soft to the back body through the movement. And then you could add on as the hips lower, curl your head, neck, and shoulders up and reach your fingertips forward into a little crunch. And as you curl it down or actually roll it down, lift the hips and reach the arms overhead. And as you exhale, lower the hips, reach the arms forward, curl up. And you can do that four to five more times on breath. You could also add on hugging your knees into your chest, bringing your forehead towards your knees. If that feels fun, fair and friendly for you today. Noticing the quality of your breath through the movement. Making sure it's easeful. Useful to support your efforts, so an easeful breath. Nice. And after the last round, we'll meet with the hips down, knees hugging in towards the chest, and a little rock side to side. And then three rock and rolls forward and back with or without hands. You can tap the mat at the top. And we'll meet in a seated position, extending your legs forward. And shake them out. Yeah. And we'll do some tushy scooting before we explore the side body in a seated position, taking your hands to your heart. You can overlap. And we'll go for a little stroll here towards the front of the mat. Also a good exercise of not taking yourself too seriously. And then to the back. It's also really good for your lower back. And you might notice your core. All the way to the back. Yeah. All the way to the front. Nice little massage for your bottom. Yeah. And then all the way back. So we'll do one more all the way back. You might also feel the front of your thighs firing up and then halfway forward. Oh, yeah. You get your arms into it. <laughs> yeah, nice. Is this 
mimics the action of walking. That's fun. Oh, yeah. And we'll meet center hands by your sides. It's nice, lady. And then we'll bend the knees, cross your right shin in front of the left. Oh, we'll be happy to be seated for a little bit here. Walk your right hand or slide your right hand to the right. The right elbow could hover over the ground. You're going to take your thumb and begin to massage the, sta the space in between your ribs as you laterally bend. Just notice if there's any interesting places that need a little extra attention and love. The exploration, you can let the head go. Oh yeah, I might find some points of tenderness, compassion and acceptance. And then make your way on up. Let's switch sides. Other side. We'll slide the left hand. The elbow could hug in and hover. And the other thumb to the right side for exploring. Also softening the spaces, the muscles in between the ribs to help accommodate a more full, nourishing, invigorating and nourishing breath. Okay, so that the rib cage, the rib basket can expand to accommodate expansion of your lungs come back on up and change the crossing other shin in front let's slide the right hand to the right and this time reach the left arm up and bend the elbow to hover or to the ground yeah so if the elbow doesn't come down that's okay and also explore which feels better for you having the left sitting bone heavy to the ground or allowing it to lift and hover Slightly, might be a different sensation. Right shoulder away from the ear, breathe into the spaces in between your ribs, full nourishing breath. Come back on up. And, yeah. and other side, so you can slide. You can hug the elbow in, shoulders from the ears, or lower the elbow to the ground. Gaze is wherever is comfortable. You may want to explore, right sitting bone hovering or being connected to the earth, whatever feels better. And breathing into the spaces between your ribs that you just massage, that you just soften with your thumb, all the way back on up. All right, hands and knees, all fours. Let's prep the wrist, everybody's favorite. For less intensity, you can have the knees and wrists closer in towards each other. Let's start by spinning the fingertips to the sides or towards your knees. And then relax your shoulders from your ears. And the whole body is going to circle. So I shift the shoulders past the wrist, then circle to the right. And I bring my whole body back until the heels of the hands lift a little bit. Then circle to the left, heels of the hands lower down. Two more times. This direction. We'll do three times each direction. Soften your eyeballs. Really important to prep the wrist before any weight bearing, any arm balancing. That includes down dog and plank. We'll meet fingertips forward and now flip on to the back of your hands for wrist flexion. Hands shoulder width apart. Shoulders from your ears and five times. Close your hands, fist and open. For less intensity, knees closer towards your hands, your fingertips. And then we'll meet. Flip in our hands the more normal way, hands and knees. Bring your knees together, feet together. Curl your toes under. Then walk your hands back. Fingertips could stay in front. We'll do a Japanese tea party or also known as toe breaker pose. <laughs> you can stay here or rest your hands on your thighs. Palms could be down if you feel like you need some more grounding. Palms could be up if you're asking help. I need more energy. Or sometimes it's complicated. One hand up, one palm up, one palm down for three. Two, soft face, and one. Lean it forward enough to release your feet. Circle your ankles, twinkle your toes. And now tops of the feet. And have a seat on your heels. Now we'll warm up the tops of the feet. 
lengthen through the spine and now turn your belly and your heart to the right and now lay your belly button over your right thigh and we'll come into a diagonal child's pose and left sitting bone heavy towards your left heel and like we did before breathe into the spaces in between your ribs especially the left side ribs and also the outside of your left armpit. Breathing into the back as much as the front. Walk your hands on your next exhale to center. Walk your hands back towards your knees and we'll meet kneeling again. Upright and lengthening through the side body. Maintain that length turn to the left and lay your belly button over your left thigh. Reach and extend through your arms. Right sitting bone heavy to right heel. Breathing into the spaces in between your ribs. Right sitting bone heavy. Breathing front, back, and sides. And slowly walk your hands to center and float your body forward onto your hands and knees. Separate your knees and your feet. You could curl your toes under if you want. Cat cows. Rhythm of your own breath, your own variation. Cat cows moving in any way that feels good to you. Maybe a couple of wagging your tail. Body circles around. Move in a way that feels more like you. And let's meet center, all fours, knees could be slightly behind your hips and shoulders over your wrist. Extend your right leg back behind you and on the ball of your right foot. Then lift your left arm up and turn the back of your chest to the left. And as you exhale, the right knee comes forward again to be in line with the left. You're going to thread the needle. We're going to find a different point to thread the left arm to the right each time. So with each inhale, press the eyes through the right hand. Extend your right leg back, left arm, twist to the left. So right leg back, left arm up, and exhale. Right knee comes forward and find a different point to thread somewhere in between your right hand and your left knee. Let's do that about three, four more times. Rhythm of your own breath. And feel free to linger if you found a, a sweet spot. Yeah. Inhaling, you extend. Exhale. We thread, we look inward. After your last round, we'll meet. Hands and knees. Rinse cycle if you need, side to side. Let's switch sides. So left leg reaches back, right arm reaches as you twist to the right. And as you exhale, left knee forward, right arm threads somewhere to the left side of the mat. About five, six more times and finding a different point to thread. Next time you thread, it might be closer to your left wrist. We're exploring. Maybe closer to your left knee and feel free at any point in practice to linger in any newfound sweet spots. Yeah, freeing up the thoracic spine, the upper back and our wings. And we'll meet hands and knees. Move in any way that feels good. And we'll find downward facing dog. Walk the wrist slightly in front of your shoulders, finding your tiger, tigress pause. Lift the hips up and back, pedal it out. Pressing the hands down, feet down, lengthen the spine. Let's bring the feet as wide as the mat. And now you could grab onto the outer edges of your mat. Even yeah, and then pull the mat apart with your hands and melt your heart back, bend your knees, lift your heels as much as you need to. And allow the four sides of the neck to lengthen out from your shoulder girdle. So you're bringing more weight back into your legs. And then slowly place your hands flat again on the mat. Shorten your stance slightly, so walk the feet slightly forward. 
and feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Press the left hand down like crazy and touch somewhere on the right side of the mat with your right hand. So right hand to the left and then right hand in its normal spot and then the left side. And touching a different point on the opposite side each time for another three, two, and one right hand stays down the left hand reaches for the outside of the right leg press the right hand down like crazy lift the right armpit bring more weight back into your legs and twist to the right for three two and one slowly releasing left hand down pressing it down so making a strong imprint of left hand right hand to outer left leg you bend the right elbow as you twist to the left pressing the left hand down bring more weight back into your legs for three two and one slowly releasing finding your regular-ish downward facing dog lift your heels drop the tailbone rolling it forward into plank pose into high push-up position notice how much your upper body is working ask your core and your legs to work just as much and then rolling it back into downward facing dog Two more times, lift the heels, rolling it forward into plank and breathe for three. Nice, two, one, tuck the chin, rolling it back. And one more time, lift the heels, drop the tailbone, articulate through the spine, coming forward. And then lower your knees down and lower all the way down, yay. <laughs> Good work, forehead to the ground, interlace your hands behind your back. And on your next inhale, Lengthen away from the ground. So first lift your shoulders, lift your fists, and lengthen everything away from the ground so you're hovering. So often less is more here. We're not trying to come up as high as we can. You're hovering, keep the back of the skull long. And then keep the muscles of the back body fired up. Releasing your hands and palms hover over the mat. Keep the shoulder blades onto your back, keep firing up through the back body. Tops of the feet come down, hands down, and press down, coming into your cobra pose. Good. Keep the back of the skull nice and long. So tuck the chin slightly, and then slowly releasing. Look on over to one side, and release your arms by the sides, palms facing up, just for a breath or two. Forehead center, again, interlace your hands the weird, awkward way, so the other thumb is on top. Lift the armpits, shoulder blades onto the back, lift the fist from your bottom, reach back, and lengthen everything away from the ground so you're hovering. And now looking over the right shoulder and twist, spin your chest to the right, and then look down and to the left. One more time, each direction, side to side. And bring it to center, back of the skull long. Keep the back body fired up. You got your own back. Release the hands to hover over the mat and still being supported by your back body. Tops of the feet down, hands down, coming up into your cobra. Back of the skull nice and long, elbows soft. And nice exhale, slowly release. Look to the other direction and release your arms at your sides. Reconnect to your breath. And forehead center and push yourself back into downward facing dog however way you want to transition you can pedal it out reestablish your foundation in your hands and then walk your hands all the way back to your feet until your heels are on the ground letting go pose and imagine your seaweed at the bottom of the sea. Unload your spine, release your head. Relax your jaw, maybe even shake your head out. Yes and no a couple of times. And we'll roll it up, press down through the feet. Belly flies in and up as you roll it on up. One vertebrae at a time. Oh yay, we're standing. Three shoulder circles back at the top okay, so let's walk to the top of the mat taking a stand standing on our own two feet feet could be inner hip width distance apart 
surrender your hands towards the ground. And you can close your eyes, distribute the weight evenly through the four corners of your feet, four corners of your feet. Especially press down through the heels, a little bit more weight into the heels and feel the bottom fibers of your glutes tone and lengthen through the spine, back of the skull long, open your eyes if they were closed, flip your palms outward and then root down, rise up, extend in mountain pose, you can gaze up if you like, exhale, hands to your heart, soften your hips, soften the back of the knees as you fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. And exhale, hands on the ground, step back into plank pose, high push-up position. So one sun A before we add on. Inhale at the top. And as you exhale, lowering with or without knees all the way down. Locust, cobra, or upward facing dog, whatever you need. And exhale, downward facing dog, hips up and back. Whatever down dog you need. Press to the inner corners of your hands, like the webbing in between your thumb and your first finger, tiger paws. And inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, bottom of your exhale, you can step or lightly hop. Top of the mat. Yeah, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Root down, rise up, extend in mountain pose. And exhale. Exhale, hands to your heart or arms to your sides. We'll add on some options. Release your fingertips to the ground. Flip the palms out. Inhale. And exhale, folding forward. Halfway lift, long spine. And exhale, step back into plank pose. Okay, so here's an option. Going to turn your toes to the left and bend your knees and reach your hips to the right. Like you're crouching, but at a diagonal. And crouching tiger and then floor forward into plank finding your center and spin your toes to the right heels to the left and bringing your hips back into the left uh, and then float it forward into plank inhale we'll do one more time each side to the right little pockets of fire i know kind of sneaky plank and to the left plank and on your exhale with or without knees lower all the way down oh yeah <laughs> cobra Locust or upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Hips up and back. Couple cycles of breath here as you press your hands down and your feet down. Lengthen through your spine. Nice and press through the inner edges of your hands. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Bottom of your exhale, step up or float. Light hop to the top. Halfway lift. And forward fold. And then root down, rise up, extended, and exhale, hands to your heart. Any of those variations again, or we'll add on. Root down, rise up, inhale, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale, plank as you exhale. Pausing here, and then the same thing again, turning your heels to the right, toes to the left, like a diagonal crouch. Then you can float it forward, pause here, or lower your knees down, do one push-up, one yogi push-up. Press up, then plank again, and then spin your heels the opposite direction, like a diagonal crouch, plank, with or without knees, push-up, and we'll do one more time each side. Everything's optional. You don't have to do the push-ups. You can pause in your plank, little pockets of fire, and we'll meet up dog, locust, or cobra, and downward facing dog, we'll meet. A couple cycles of breath. I'll adjust the temperature. <laughs> now that we're creating some heat. Okay. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, and bottom of your exhale. Step four, light hop forward, halfway lift, and forward fold. Root down, rise up, extended, and exhale, hands to your heart. One more round, any of those variations. Release the fingertips down, flip the palms out, lift up. Exhale and fold. Halfway lift, press the feet down. 
And exhale, plank. Good, inhale, spinning the heels to one direction and reaching the hips into plank or take a yogi push up in between. We'll do two times each direction. Again, as chill or challenging as you like today. Checking in with your breath. Right? Checking in with that internal compass. Chill or challenging as you like. And we'll meet in Locust Cobra Up Dog and Downward Facing Dog. Feel free to pedal it out or child's pose whenever you need. Child's pose is always an option instead of Downward Facing Dog. And then lower down to your knees. Cross at your ankles. We'll be so happy to do core now. <laughs> a little bit of core. Give those arms a break. First, jellyfish core. Tight little compact ball. Balancing on your sitting bones. Toes get hovered. Shoulders from ears. Elbows could be wide. And as you inhale, half boat. The jellyfish. It's the season. Legs wide, arms wide. And exhale. Hug it in. Four to five more times. Rhythm of your own breath. If you need a pillow or a blanket underneath your tailbone and your glutes, go for that. <laughs> pillow makes it harder in a way because there's more balancing. You could actually do this on a bolster. Oh my God. Crazy fun. The good news is that you don't have to do many to feel these. And let's meet. Feet down, pull the shins in, and lift and lengthen the spine. Open up your chest. That was fun. Let's stick with the C theme here. Hands behind your thighs. Best you can, keep the spine nice and long and the heart lifted. Extending your right leg. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I hope that was a release in your left leg. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop. And best you can, both legs. Whee, fun. And then both feet down, pull in. We'll do that a couple times. So it's like, I'm a human walking on the earth, and now I'm a mermaid. Both. Woo, little mermaid. One more time. <laughs> Under the sea, core today. Right leg and left leg and mermaid tail. Yay. Way to play. <laughs> Both feet down. Hold on to your shins. Lift it like Woo. Okay, now we'll be. I don't know, amoeba or something. You're gonna balance on your sitting bones again. And then turn your upper body to the right, knees could be to the left. And like free flow, amoeba core, cosmic amoeba. And then switch directions, other way. Yeah, sound effects are most welcome. Means you're breathing. And then to the right again. You can even do a half boat if you want. Come back on up. I'm a, a cosmic amoeba. <laughs> And then bring it to center. Woo! Lift and lengthen. You should be proud through the chest for all that core you just did. And three rock and rolls. Backwards and forwards. And we'll transition however way you like to downward facing dog. You can cross your ankle, abs in front, back. Revisiting. Revisiting some old favorite moves. <laughs> for entertainment purposes only. Lift your heels, bend your knees, and as you exhale, step, hop, float forward, halfway lift to the top of the mat again. Nice. Exhale, forward fold, and root down, rise up. Extended mountain pose, hands to the heart. Again, we stand, and we will dance. Keep your right foot forward. You can keep your hands to the heart, or you can bring fingertips together, however it works for you. Step the left foot back and we'll hover twist to the right, only for a moment. So the left leg's back, twist to the right, and then stand through the right foot, come back on up to mountain, and then switch. Left foot stays forward, hover twist to the left, stand through the left leg, and come back up to standing. So we'll alternate as fast for rhythm as your own pace, your own dance. We might be weebling and wobbing. Yeah. Hover twist. You're going to twist the opposite direction. Or you're going to twist to the same direction as your front leg. The same direction. So it's my left leg, but it's a good challenge the other way too. Make it your own. 
best you can. And you can separate your hands too. Like you can make light fist and twist. We'll do two more each side. Two more, twisting the same direction as your front knee. Woo! And was like, we're waiting. And shake it out. Nice. Like dancing warriors there. Root down, rise up, inhale, and exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Step it back, plank pose. Pause on the inhale, and as you exhale, with or without knees, lowering down. Locust, cobra, or up dog. Whatever you need. And downward facing dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees, inhale, and step your right foot forward and lower your back knee down. Pillow or blanket underneath that back knee if you need. Either back toes curled under or top of the foot. Hug the legs in towards each other, sweep your arms up, keep lifting your frontal hip points so you're not dumping into your lower back, which is what I'm demonstrating right now. Lift the frontal hip points, lengthen through the spine, and then exhale, hands to your heart, twist to the right. You're gonna hook your left elbow, left elbow outside of your front knee, the other way, so towards the window, yeah. Good, now press down to the bottom elbow and lift your heart up to your thumbs. But make sure, yeah, make sure your thumbs aren't hanging out in your armpits. Pull that outer right hip back, gaze could be down or forward or up. For another three, two, and one, now you're gonna either stay here or curl the back toes under and lift up the back knee. If you like. For three, two, yay, we did this. And one, both hands to the ground. And we'll step the left knee to the outside of the right foot for a seated twist. The left knee outside of right foot, and you may need to scoot your right foot more to the left. Oh yeah, we'll have a seat for a moment. Well deserved. Right hand behind you like a kickstand. So lift and lengthen. Left arm reaches up and give yourself a hug. Either left elbow crease to right knee and twist to the right. And both sitting bones heavy to the ground. You might notice the right hip is lifted. Yeah, see if you could plant it towards the ground. You can stay here or left elbow hooks to the outside of the right thigh. Yeah. Lift the back of your left lung up and spin the back of your left lung towards your right shoulder. Okay, keep on breathing. You can let the gaze be wherever you like. Sometimes I like to turn my head the opposite direction and drop my chin towards my left shoulder for three, two, and one. Slowly releasing. Keep the legs the same. We'll do a counter twist to the other direction. So you can take your Right elbow to the inside of your right knee and left hand behind you and twist. And again, you can let your head go wherever you like. Explore, or you can keep gazing over your left shoulder. And keep both sitting bones heavy, nice. For another three, two, and one, slowly release, bring it to center. Nothing fancy, just mindful downward facing dogs. You might sweep the right leg back and around. Hands and knees, and we'll meet downward facing dog, pedaling it out. And then lift your heels, bend your knees, and exhale, left foot steps forward, back knee down on a pillow or a blanket, either back toes curled under or top of the back foot. Hug front foot and back knee together. So make sure you're not collapsing the hips. There's still an element of hugging in. Sweep your arms up. Breathe. So you don't want to be dumping into your lower back. You know, it looks so cool. It's not so sustainable for your lower back. So you're going to lift your frontal hip points up. Yeah, good. Even as you lift the frontal hip points up, you can allow the hips to sink a little bit more. Good for three, two, one. Hands to your heart, twisting to the left. So as I twist to the left, I pull my outer left hip back, press the right elbow down and hands together, lift your heart up to your thumbs. Yeah, get right through the chest. Breathing fully, invigorating, 
nourishing full but not forceful breath for three, two, now you're gonna stay here, one, or you're gonna curl the back toes under and lift up the back knee for three, two, and one, releasing the hands down. Left foot to the right a teeny bit. Bend the back knee enough that you can spring forward. Right knee outside of left foot. Oh, have a seat. <laughs> left hand behind you. And right arm up. Make sure the lower spine is lifting in and up. So you use this left hand as a kickstand. And give yourself a hug. Right elbow crease to left knee. And turn to the left. Stay here. Or right elbow can hook outside of left knee. And you may notice that your left side seat wants to lift up. See if you can sit your left sitting bone down. Breathing here. Back of the right lung lifts. And turn the back of the right lung towards your left shoulder. So spinning the back of your heart. Spinning your ribs to the left for another three, two, and one, slowly releasing. Same with the legs, counter twist. Right hand could be behind you. Left elbow, left elbow. Inside a left knee and twist. And keep that lower spine lifting up. Gaze wherever you like. And I like to drop my chin, get a nice little stretch on the side and back of my neck. Another three. Two and one, slowly releasing. However way you want to transition, you can sweep your left leg around and back. Downward facing dog will meet to, to stretch it out and then we'll start to bring it down. Bring it down some more. And now lower your knees down. And come to a seated position, crossing at your ankles or sweep the feet around. Or a wide-legged straddle. If you need extra height, roll up a blanket or a pillow and place it underneath your seat. Don't go as wide as you can. A little bit less or a lot less. You're going to take your bum flesh, so the opposite hand to opposite inner thigh, and the same hand side to your bum flesh, an internal spiral to take your bum flesh, bum flesh back. And the other side, too. Yeah, so you're nice and rooted. Yeah, and now be mindful that you're not um, letting your knees and the toes collapse to the side. Hug your inner knees energetically and towards each other. Nice. Then hands by your hips, press down. And then lift your armpits up, lengthen through the spine, and now press the thigh bones, top of the thigh bones, down into the ground. So this can be nice and rounding. You can stay here or walk your hands forward a little bit or a lot. And then half circles. Ease your way into your hips. Half circles alternating around. And if it feels good for you, you can lower down to your elbows. And we'll pause. And if you took a variation and you notice that you're not breathing, you could always walk your hands closer in towards you. It's somewhere where you can settle into yourself. Pressing the thigh bones down. Lengthen through the spine if you want. You could bend your elbows and rest your forehead on your hands or your chin. I like to go like this and bring my thumbs, or rather my hands, the heels of my hands to my eyeballs and the fingertips travel up to the top of my head or my brow. A couple more full, again, not forceful cycles of breath. Meeting yourself where you are, even having your hands by your hips and not folding forward is already considered a forward fold. And then slowly make your way on up. Now we'll lean to the side, but reassess the direction of your knees and your toes. Right hand to the inside of your right foot. Now you can slide it forward and lower down to your elbow or a block or a blanket. You're going to reach your right arm up, and you can turn your, or your left palm, the opposite hand, whichever side you're on, top hand down, and breathe into the spaces in between your ribs like you massaged before. You can stay here, or you can bend your top elbow and take your hand behind your head and let your head just like hang out. 
really like hang out here. Yeah. And energetically hug your inner knees in towards each other and press the thigh bones down and soften your face. For another good couple of cycles of nourishing breath. Nourishing and supportive breath. Relaxing your face best you can. You can slowly begin to reach your right arm or your top arm up into the side to lift you up. Oh, yeah, well, best one to release. Switching sides so you can slide your hand. Then the elbow, this side might be different. Meet yourself where you are. I'm just going to move to the back so my heels are on the mat. And again, you can bend that top elbow and rest your head in your hand. This side might be really different. Relax your shoulders. And energetically, again, hug your inner knees in towards each other. So this element of hugging in, you're creating meaningful boundary in which to expand. Relax your face. You can also have your hand behind you, too, and lean back a little bit. Another three. Two and one, lift the top hand up to come on up. And one more time, either hands by your hips and press the thigh bones down, or you can walk it forward. We're not, not attached to how far down we come. <laughs> Any amount of the pose is the pose. <sighs> Relaxing the face and breathing. Make sure you're maintaining a sense of lengthening before folding, lengthening first, and then slowly releasing, walk the hands back, take your hands to your inner knees, and lean back and pull up, oh yeah, make your way out to your back, slowly, slowly, Woo. hug those knees into your chest, supine pigeon, left foot on the ground, and right ankle over your left thigh bone. Stay here or hug your left knee towards the left side of your chest. Flex your right ankle. And for this variation, release your left heel towards your left side seat, the left, the left seat. Make sure you're distributing the weight evenly through both hips. There is a tendency to dump into the right hip. Maybe shift the weight more to the left hip. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. And slowly releasing left foot down, right foot down. Pause and notice any shifts or changes. And now the other side. Left ankle over right thigh bone. Hug your right knee in towards the right side of your chest. Flex your left ankle. Relax your shoulders. Releasing your right heel towards the right side seat. And make sure you're not dumping into the left side for this variation. You may notice more sensation on the outer right hip or the bottom of your right seat, left seat, if you roll more to the right. And then slowly releasing both feet on the ground. Pause. Bring your right knee in towards your chest and extend your left leg forward. Left hand to right knee, right arm to the right, straight out from your right shoulder. Inhale and as you exhale, we'll do this rhythmically. Left hand guides your right knee towards the left. And then inhale, bringing the right knee to center. The left hand will stay on the right knee throughout. Exhale, right knee to the left. Do that a couple more times, rhythm of your own breath. Let's meet with the right knee to the left for a couple cycles of breath, adjusting your right arm however you need. Maybe it's a cactus arm. Now slowly bring it back on up to center. 
and we'll switch sides, right leg straight, left knee in, right hand holds on to left knee, left arm straight out from the left shoulder, and as you exhale, guiding your left knee to the right with your right hand, and bring it back on up to center on your inhale, about four more times, own breath. Allow the breath to support the movement. A couple of cycles of breath lingering there. In this shape, you could do a cactus left arm, left elbow. Okay, feeling the ground rising up and meeting you where you are. Full, nourishing, yet invigorating, invigorating, yet nourishing breath. And slowly bring it back to center. Both knees into your chest, happy baby, whatever variation you like. Soles of the feet can be to the sky as you grab onto the outer edges of your feet. You can rock a by baby side to side as you extend one leg as you roll to that side and then the other. We'll meet in yogi's choice, any other posture you feel like you need. Four to six cycles of breath, and we'll meet in resting pose. Any resting pose you like. It could be any shape. If it feels like a good idea for you, you can take up lots of space, lots of real estate. If that's something that you're longing for, maybe it's a shape that's more contained. There's a few glorious moments to settle into yourself, to feel and absorb this sense of support, not only from the ground, but also from your breath. Begin to soften from the inside out and your body melts across the floor. You are supported. I'm taking this pause to notice the effects of your efforts, the internal yoga buzz you created today. Absorb and marinate in that breath as you settle more deeply into yourself with each exhale. Invite more space in between top and bottom teeth. Slowly begin to deepen your breath as you bring movement back to your fingers and your toes. Gently turning your head side to side. With awareness, bring your legs closer together, bending one knee and the other. 
And then gather your knees into your chest with your hands or your arms, giving yourself a big hug of gratitude for investing this time on your mat. Roll on over to your right side. Pause there for a moment. And head's the last thing to come on up. Comfortable seated position. No rush. We'll meet with the hands and the heart, soft gaze or eyes closed. Thinking of one thing in your life that you are grateful for, no matter how big or small. And together, one cleansing breath. First, empty out all the air from your lungs. Inhale through your nose, fill up. And exhale, ha. And as always, gratitude for practicing together. May it all be a benefit to us and everybody else around us. Namaste. And Shabbat Shalom. Yay, ladies.